we won. Cap, 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 cap. It is Shadow of Judgment Time. I would have had this out sooner, but shit happens in real life. Um, for any of you who sent, like, positive shit my way for my, um, family member, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, but it's one of those things where, like, you know, I really don't want to, I, I, like, well, technically, I, I, like, I could, but I don't want to talk about it, because it's really, uh, not my place to, but thank you all for your concerns. And then I had to work today, so that was, like, even better, so it was just like, yay! Regardless, welcome to Shadow of Judgment. This is where I get to look at the nooks, the crannies, the things in the circle, the things in each four quarters to tell you if anything's just popping up in your nether regions for the week. This is, um, it's today, today's the ninth. Today's the ninth, so the ninth to the sixteenth. Let's see who we're reading for first. Fire signs. Queen of Wands reversed. Along with a few other ones. We're what are you What are you doing? Are you deciding between being paranoid and actually working on something? Or letting your guard down to let information go or something? Fire signs! Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If it resonates with you, a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. None of the shit matters if you don't think it's true, right? Just boop you on the nose, okay? Also, if you want a personal reading from me, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are down below. To the people who are still waiting for their personal readings that I said would be done today or yesterday, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to get you guys tonight. Luckily, these ones don't take me as long as, like, a fucking week as the other ones, so... It shouldn't be too terribly bad. Well, technically none of them take me that long, but I, I, I'm a master at procrastinating. Aries, your first card. Some grief right here. Thinking that things just aren't going to go the way you want them to. Even though the sky is offering you another cup, you're still just like, but man, these three cups. They had like Fanta lemonade slushy in them. Oh my God, you guys actually found that? And it's fucking delicious? Oh my God, like. Mm. Like, I love lemonade. Orange Phantom mixed in it. Oh, hell yes. Aries, I got this feeling for your shadow this week. You might be feeling like you did some shit to yourself. Yeah, and you're kind of looking back on all that shit like, Yeah, maybe I did. Or maybe I should have, like, evaluated things a little bit better. But that's okay, because, like, you guys are usually the first to do everything. You already know how things turn out because you're the one who first tried it. That's why you're good with giving advice with your friends. Because you're the one who's dumb enough who didn't think about it to do it first. And then you could be like, no, dude, let me explain something to you, okay? You do not want to stick your penis in that hole. It's a vacuum, and then they're going to call the cops to cut part of the pool out in order to free your penis from it. I actually knew a story of someone who had that happen to them. It made me feel better. So he gets from breaking up with me. Let's see. I feel like someone's, like, air sign, maybe? Like, you, like... Okay, so there's a choice that you are possibly dealing with. Which you know will probably leave you in your feels a little bit, right? You're trying to delegate it pretty well. You're trying to take the right action, but unfortunately, like, either you're dealing with an air sign, or you are just completely just... Lost the ad, da 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 da. Okay. Huh. Well, Aries, this is interesting. I feel like you think that your counterpart's insane and you'd rather be single. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, here's the thing, Aries. You are in your feelings because you know you probably have to make a choice that'll lead to a tower moment that's going to make you single as fuck, but with money. So, it's not too terribly bad, you know. If you, if you can't have somebody, you at least got to have something to pay for the shit that you're going to be able to buy without someone telling you that you can't. You know? Now, here's the thing, though. 
This is the King of Wands, but this is the Queen of Swords, so it's like... Either you could be being erratic... When it comes to the logic that dictates, you might just be being like, you know what, fuck it. Woman scorned, right? Or, because I'm taking my shoes off, my apologies. I can't. Mm. This is somebody you're dealing with, and it's like, they want to cut some shit out over here when it involves the tower? Like, you're, like your card's upright, so I'm not thinking that it's you. But this Queen of Swords has me like, mmm, because it looks like they're the same person over here with the Knight of Swords. Uh, either way, even if both of you are even aren't on the same page or some shit, like, I feel like you guys might just end up single, but with money. So it's really not that much, like, I know, money's the root of all evil, right? Well, so is love, too, you know. It's like that uh, hero song for the one Spider-Man movie. Um... I hear people say that love will say, save us, but how can that be? Like, look at what love gave us. You know? It's one of those things. Where it's like, I don't know if, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like you kind of are looking over all of this, but you don't want to deal with this person. Or if this is you, you're kind of scorned and you're just like, you know what, I just, I'm just taking my nine. You have fun with that. Now, over here is interesting. Over here is the Ten of Swords with the Nine of Swords reversed. And that's why I'm feeling like this is the same person you might be dealing with. You might be, with the King of Wands, judging this Queen of Swords here and be like, Nah, I'm good. I, I'm good. There's something up with you. I don't know what it is yet. There's something going on just on the tip of my nose. Right to the crack of your ass. I just smell it. I smell it and it's strong. <laughs> Are you coming on my lap? Okay, but you're not getting on the table, please. I'm asking you nicely. Could you do that for me? Yes. Okay. So anyway... It's like... This per like, whatever's going on over here... Someone did some shit to themselves and they're running away from it. Closing the door completely. And in between these two scenarios is heartbreak and someone needed a break from all this shit in order to recover. So it's like, whoever you're dealing with, Aries, is sweet for your shadow. It's like, it's like you gotta break up with someone and you know it's gonna end bad, but at least you know you'll be by yourself and okay. It's just gonna take a while to recover from this shit, I feel like. Like, you need recovery because it's just been insane with the dramatics. And they need a recovery because, like, you know... I don't think they're expecting it. I don't think they're expecting you to make that call with the King of like like I know I like saying the King of Wands is Leo, right? But the King of Wands is also someone who takes care in what he decides to do. You know, he is the acting judge on his throne. Um, he takes swift action and passionate movements based on what he knows. He's strict, but he's still fair. And he knows how to have a good time, and he's probably gonna act like a child sometimes and want you to pat his back while he goes to sleep. But he is a righteous ruler, and he rules with dignity and grace. Are you going to lay down, or are you just gonna rub your face on the table? Okay. There we go. Hmm. What should we look at? What's this tower right here. What's that all about, Aries? <laughs> here, while you're here, bless these. Thank you. Actually, here, go back in this chair, because I need to get these cards, sweetheart. And I don't want to just touch up yet, you know? Oh, Lord, a whole bunch came out for you. Okay, Aries, let's see what the hell's going on with you, with this tower. Right? Look at you, little girl. You're acting all crazy-like. There's a king of pentacles here. Capricorn towards Virgo, or someone just acting like the provider, or whatever it is. Who's got a pentacle and left somebody out in the cold. I would almost say this is like six of pentacles reversed. Like, he's got the main pentacle, and, he, and there's the five pentacles where someone's feeling left out in the cold. Um, probably dragging somebody back back as a liability, you know? Like, he's over here, and he's able to produce shit, but it's almost like he's acting handicapped, so the bitch has gotta, like, be like, alright, I'll lead the way, whatever. I always do anyway. Um, 
Someone wants to let their guard down, and, uh, like, there's the counterpart. She's also reversed, like, the Queen of Swords, so this might actually be somebody who you could be dealing with romantically or otherwise, Aries, who's just has no patience, has no whatever, or this is you as well with the King of Swords. Just pissed, just generally pissed, right? Because secrets came out that really threatened what made you feel secure. And that's why it led to this heartbreak right here. Possibly with an air sign, right? Maybe a Gemini since the Four of Wands is here as well. But, ah! Jesus Christ, that was dramatic. Alright, Leo, you're up. So let's see. Yeah, Queen of Wands Reverse came up in um your card of the day or card of the week or just the main starter card, right? Let's see. Leo, you are up. So let's see what's going on with your shadow this week, or whatever shadows that are following you. We got the chariot. Could be Cancer, right? Riding forward. Um, moving forward because they're not happy in something, or they're not getting there happily ever after like they think they would. Possibly dealing with an unfaithful spouse, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone might be demanding, and that's what's making this um, happy ending not so happy. Or she's expecting something. Like, you might be looking for fairness or balance in some way. Especially with the chariot right there, right? Yeah, I think you want to be independent a little bit, Leo. Um, but this Queen of Pentacles is your... The fuck is that? And then that's going down to the five, what? Okay, Leo, um, yeah, exactly, what? Okay. Ew. Two more. Alright, Leo, so far, whatever it is that's going on here with somebody... Could be a Cancer, could be an Earth sign, could be you, could be Scorpio, could be Libra. There's plenty here. But it all revolves around money. Like, whoever it is you're dealing with. They're riding forward. But they got the Six of Pentacles and then the Five of Pentacles. Like, they want to ride forward, look for a balance. But then they go down to the five. Feeling left out in the cold. Why? Because they offer that six pentacle over somewhere else. But there's depth to something, and that's because it was a bad call. Judgment and justice are both in reverse, and they're like... I don't know if judgment's a karma card, but justice definitely is. Like, there's a queen of pentacles up here. I don't know what the hell that's about. Like, because I'm not sure if it's an overbearing mother or just somebody who you were close to that I feel like, like, helped you out a lot. And the thing is, you don't like them. You actually really don't like a lot about them, but they keep you secure, which is like, that's a bad judgment call. And I feel like the one pentacle is like for an offer to end things, and that's like the wrong thing to do or some shit. Hmm. Either that or it's like that one time I told you guys where I thought you were waiting for somebody to die. Or someone's waiting for you to die. Um, you know, over here someone's unhappy and they'd rather be single. But then they're still going to be unhappy with your card, Leo. Like, you're not happy with somebody... You're cool for a minute when you're by yourself because it's just like, yeah, I could save so much money now. And then you're like unhappy. And then you want to just end the unhappiness. But it's weird because this pentacle is riding towards death or it's going towards death. 
going towards the ending of all of this shit over here where someone's not happy and I feel like they dream of being away from um, Mrs. McBitches right here. She's going to sell you a bitch sandwich. Little fatty right there, you know. She just goes, wink, wink. Here it is. You owe me thirty five fifty nine. It's like a sandwich with like two pieces of bread, piece of cheese, and eggs. Yes, and they were imported from Mexico, so they're delicacies. Here's your change. You know, it's like... It, I mean, I can't... Like, it's... Yours have been really weird for me, Leo, because it's like... You're dealing with somebody who you really fucking care about, but they keep doing you wrong, or you're perceiving that they're doing you wrong somehow. Or, like, you're seeing something about it, and that's, like, the bad judgment call right here. Or deciding, like, you know, not to resurrect something, and it's just like, oh, well, it's kind of like... It's kind of like you're hanging on to somebody for money, or someone's hanging on to you for money. Remember, cross watchers, switch where you fucking need to. Same with other people. Right? Take what's yours and leave the rest with a grain of salt, because the stories aren't supposed to be perfect, they're just resonating. Um, you fit some of the illustrations, right? What? Okay, bad judgment call. I want to know what this bad judgment call is. That's what I like. I I look because I'm kind of confused. I always get confused with yours. You're waiting for something. Maybe an apology. Like, cause like the ships are going out and this person's just you know looking back, being like, I'm sorry. I'll see you later. In order for you to recover. What? Do you feel like this Queen of Pentacles is holding something back from you? Or you feel like they know that they've done something wrong to you, but they're not admitting it? Because I'll tell you right now, like, you know, usually, yeah, people know 100% what the fuck they're doing. The problem is they don't think of what they're doing. Dude, like, for reals? You're just good. Okay. Well, lay down here. Yeah, you're gonna have to shift, because I'm not changing my legs for you. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like... There's, like, somebody you're dealing with you feel like is holding shit back. But it's like you're wrong? Like, because you go from the... You, you want to go forward to the six. But you end up going to the five because you give your six pentacle away. And that was bad. So now everything has to die. So it's kind of like, what did you... and Who in your life has invested in something that just turned honky-dory, I wonder? Leo. But that's your shadow of judgment this week. I'm sorry, kitten. Here, I'll cross my legs for you. Hmm. See, I, I, I think I only get confused with yours because, like, I'm with a Leo, and it's just kind of like, let that motherfucker do something. I please, please, let him give me a reason to live alone as a hermit for the rest of my life, because I don't mind that at all. Like, I'm actually looking forward to that one day. I don't know, just being alone is just a comfort that you rarely get when you're surrounded by people. Speaking of which, Sagittarius, it's your turn! Yay! I saw this little girl today and I taught her how to say, like, Sagittarius, and she was like, Sagittarius! And I was just like, oh my god, that's so cute. I don't know, it was just adorable. I'll try to get her to say all the signs, and then her mom figured out what I was doing. She's just like, oh, um, are you playing, like, Yahtzee? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, man. Ah, wait, hold on. I don't think that's right, because that came up. Those shouldn't have popped up. Awkward. Like, for reals. <laughs> like, a few cards shouldn't have popped up the way that they did. And that was just kind of like, whoa, wait a minute. Did I know that shuffle? Alright, Sagittarius. You're getting a, a, an offer. Then, hmm. 
But are you going out to the door because, like, the options are all shitty with this offer? Like, you're getting, like, money. You're getting, like, some jazz. You're getting the fresh start right here, but the options look like shit. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you know, as long as we're going that route. Okay. Um, might have manifested something that, like, did not go the way you thought it would. That's why the options look like shit. Um, uh, the money situation does bring up a lot of indecisions with you. And the options look like shit because you're definitely focused on something from the past. Um, whatever was manipulated caused two people to be left out in the cold with one feeling like a liability for the other. Oh, you're indecisive because you just got out of some... Okay, someone who you were probably dealing with is offering you money now. And I think you remember the last time what happened when you all joined together. Like, you're trying to judge this accordingly from past events in order to even figure out if you can work any of this shit out. Or if you need a mediator in order to work it out. Because the door is closed. And there are fucking secrets to boot. Pisces, Cancer's card. Uh, let's see. Leo, Sag, Aries. Of course you're up here, Sag. This is your reading, of course. Um, I, technically all the signs are up here because the magician's here, but you know. Definitely Capricorn. Definitely Gemini. Definitely. Alright, Sagittarius. I'm going to end up saying that like that all night now. Silly me. Alright, Sagittarius. So, there is an offer being given to you, or you're giving an offer out. Um, but it's leaving a lot of indecisiveness because it's like you just separated from somebody who you know isn't good for you. Like, the connection got bad. It was just kind of like, you know, like, hey, give me some more. Just da 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 give me some more. Just da 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 give me some more. That's Buster Rhymes, but I don't know any of his lyrics because he goes way too fast for me. But I love him. One of the few rappers I actually like. Him and Missy Elliott. Andre 3000. Shit like that. Um... Like, you kind of closed the door after all of this. But now someone's here being a mediator. Why? Because the way that someone created this honky doriness just left somebody out in the cold with another person is just basically a liability to them now. So now there needs to be a third party to come in and be like, Hey, um, look, I just built stuff, but if you give me that, I could build you something better. Um, philosophy, architecture, academia... Lots of conversations with that. But the thing is, is, like, you feel like there are shitty options when it comes to the past. Like, you're looking over it with the King of Wands. He's facing the past, of course. And you're looking down, or he's looking down at working it out. And the moon with these secrets. I don't care right now, Ams. I'll get to you soon enough. Let's see. Well... First off, it involved pissing you off and, like, ending things with a, no real closure whatsoever. Despite the fact that you wanted to communicate, I think. Possibly about resurrecting something. Start, yeah, you wanted to resurrect a new beginning here. Put art to it. You could see that, um, you wanted this, almost. Uh, but you were, like, you probably got impatient and said some hasty shit. And that caused things to change, and all of a sudden you had to learn how to control that beast you call a mouth for the sake of love once again. Or moving on to calmer waters, one of the two. I don't know, Sagittarius, but that's the end of your read. Um, so, that was the Shadow of Judgment for Fire Signs. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Sorry, I am so scatterbrained. I just got in from work. But I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.